of them later on were exported, were taken, were transported to other locations on your planet. Some of them very specifically to what you call your North and Central and South American continents, which were very close in proximity to the Western portion of the Atlantean Empire. Thus then, when the Atlantean Empire began to dissolve, began to break apart, many of them, along with other things, were transported to safer locations. And the culture, thus then, was continued, and the rituals and the interactions with these devices were continued in those areas for quite some time, up until around what you call about 10,500 BC, as you say in your counting to about 7,000 BC, where utilization of these devices did begin to wane as knowledge of these devices was lost, as individuals, older individuals who were practiced in the utilization, the priests, the shamans, as you say, the scientists of the day who were practiced in the utilization of these crystal skulls, in a sense, began to die out as the culture began to change and as information, in a sense, was no longer handed down from generation to generation in the same way, much of the practice and utilization of these devices was forgotten. There were a few individuals on your planet who maintained the knowledge, but found over time that fewer and fewer individuals were either interested in or capable of learning the practice of how to best interact with these devices, how to best utilize these devices, and so in a sense it is like a lost art form. To some degree this is being reclaimed today, but as you say, we will talk about that later.